Hi everyone, this is Flo and today I want to show you how to flash uh, custom RAM and change the RAM on your HTC One. So, uh, first thing to do is to go to XGA, this forum there, and go to HTC One um, thing, and you have then uh, two different file, uh, two different thread, this one and this one, the original Android development and the Android development. On those files, you get some uh, thread with ROM, like that, as you can see, ROM, and you have to select the ROM uh, which you like and you want to install. Uh, you can also check my uh, YouTube channel just to uh, select the ROM you want. And there is links to different custom ROM I test. Sorry because um, currently I am I have a lot of exams and I am not able to uh, review a lot of things. So I have selected this one, this ROM. You have to click there and you get uh, this thread. You have sometimes some... Um, some screenshots and you have to find the way to download the ROM. Once it's done you go to your folders and you get uh, the custom ROM, just this one, and you get a zip file. Before to flash the custom ROM you have uh, follow my different uh, tutorials on my blog or on my website. This one as you can see just there I have released the thread. Uh, you have to do these different things. How to unlock the bootloader, flash the recovery and uh, root your device. So this is root and not boot. I have to change it now. Okay, um, this is the different things you have to follow. Three different videos and then you get your HTC One like that. This is a sense one and I will flash a new custom ROM. So I downloaded the file just there and I have to connect my phone uh, to, to the computer like that, you know. You have to connect it by this way. You plug your device like that, that's done. Um, you get there your phone here and you have just to create uh, on the storage a new folder, you can call it ROM like that. Okay, you keep it and you copy and paste it to the ROM folder like that, you know, and you get on the ROM uh, the new file just there, we have to wait a few seconds here. We get it and we must have it on your phone because uh, later we needn't to use our computer. So let's go to do that. A few seconds, you get the file here and it's done. You are able to remove your phone like that, you know. You can do that or just uh, uh, disconnect it. Uh, not that. You have to unplug your phone like that. Once it's done, you go uh, to the settings here and you go to power. You have to disable the fast boot here, like that. Once it's done, you have to turn off your phone. Just power off like that. This is something so easy to do. Okay, once it's done, you have to uh, boot your phone on the fast boot and bootloader. You press the volume down button just there and then the power button like that. Your phone starts on the bootloader mode, this one. You have to select the recovery, okay, this one, and press the power button just to go to the recovery. You get your message. Okay, when you are on the recovery there, um, you have to go to backup and restore, just there, this one, you see, backup and restore. You press that and you go to backup just to save, uh, this is an Android backup, to save all your, uh, your files on your phone. When you go back, you have to wipe data factory, this line, this one. Select yes, uh, you delete all your user data. So that's why you need to, um, to save everything if you did something wrong. Wipe cache then, like that. And then you have to go to install zip from SD card, this one. Select the first one, choose zip from SD card. And you have to go where you uh, put your uh, your your custom ROM, mine is ROM, and into that CM10, uh, this one. I want to flash it, select yes, install it. You have just to uh, wait a few seconds, just for installing update. Then you get message, and it's doing that. Uh, maybe sometimes you use an Aroma installer. This is a software where you have to select different things as uh, what you want to install or remove on your, on your uh, system. Then you get install from SD card complete. You just have to uh, 
if needed, for example, for CM10, you have to go again to shoot zip from SD card and select the G apps. I haven't chosen it, but you have to go and select the G apps and uh, flash it without wiping. Just shoot zip from SD card, flash zip from SD card, uh, select the one you want, and you just have to flash the G apps and then go to reboot system now. Uh, there. And you have to wait, and your HTC One is just running a new uh, OS, a system. Mm. And this is just so cool to, to do that as easy like that. And you will see in a few seconds the new boot animation, this one from Cyanogen, because I use now a Cyanogen mod on my HTC One. Uh, maybe we have just to wait um, the first hour to show you. Sometimes it could be uh, long to wait the, the restart. Uh, sometimes you have just to wait a few seconds as the cyanogen you, you have to wait maybe I don't know 25 30 seconds and then you just have to enjoy your, your new uh, system and this is just uh, like that you know this is there is no magic this is just uh, something to learn uh, and to do and now I am running um, my cyanogen mod as you can see there so thanks to have seen this video that was flow